Welcome to episode 5 of Re-Establishing Rotherham. I hope you're having a great day and today I hope I can make it better for you with this video. Maybe brighten up your day, possibly we'll see. We're away against Derby County in the Championship today. It's the 4th of March 2017. I've played on quite a bit, longer than I was intending to, simply because I've not had the ability to record a video for a while. I, At the time of recording, I'm home for the Christmas period. But I've managed to find some time just to record this video for you guys. As you can see, lately since that win against West Ham, we had a, a run of draws, three one-all draws in a row. We lost dramatic, well, huge defeat against Portsmouth in the FA Cup. Not too happy about that. I did put out a weakened team, but then a very good 3-0 win against Blackburn, which made up for it really. Then a couple of defeats. Win against Brighton with Will Keane getting a goal. Uh, defeats against Newcastle and Wigan. Beat Charlton. Lost against Forest. 3 all draw against Ipswich, you really should have won that one. As you can see on the right hand side here from the, the scorers and the times they scored. And a 1-0 win against Sheffield United, who we've managed to beat twice this season, which is good. My new signing, Bjorn Kluft, scoring his first goal for the club. Signed in for very little money from 3rd Division German team, 100 k But I needed a winger. I can't remember what's happened in the transfer window, let's have a quick look. Uh, so recently, yeah, that was our only signing. Going out of the club, Jordan Burry for 625k to Millwall. Had his up and downs, was, wasn't really happy here, so I decided to sell him. And I think that's a respectable fee for him. It brings a bit of money into the club anyway. So, oh, it's, it's going well generally because we're three points above the relegation zone, which doesn't sound very good, but it's been so close. We've been flirting with the relegation zone all season. But look at that, West Ham down, 33 points. What's happened to them? They're up here. Last episode, I beat them 3-0, of course, but they've dropped down crazy. I don't know what's going on. Now, Sunderland also down there, Bolton, Birmingham. But look how tight it is, 48 points there. Not a tenth place, only eight, ninth place, sorry, only eight points behind them. We could finish in a respectable league position this season if everything goes our way for the remainder of the season. It's going to be tough. We're playing a lot of teams that are down there with us. So crucial games against Sunderland, Brum, Bolton, Oldham, West Ham, all towards the end of the season. I think Palace sort of down there, Bristol City as well. So we can either completely flop or we can finish in a reasonable position. I'm hoping for the latter. We've been doing well. The tactics been doing okay. Even in the losses, we've done okay considering who we've been playing. And today's a big game. I can't remember where Derby are. They're second, so not really expecting a win. But I thought I'd record this anyway as it's a, a big game. For you to watch and I'm really hoping we can pull it out of the bag when it finally submits my team. So here we go, we can move up to 17th with a win. So let's do this. We can't play Cyrus Christie because it's he's playing against his parent club. So Paul Green is at right back, you may have noticed that. Which we do oh I've got Dio Fraseco up front from West Ham see West Ham failing miserably on this save for whatever reason really failing they've got Jeffrey Schlopp at right uh, left back sorry he's a good player so they're playing Richard Keogh at right back and rather than playing Cyrus Christie who they've loaned out to me I'd rather go with Cyrus Christie to be honest okay let's cause an upset give the fans a boost that's what we need dun 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 so this tactic has been working okay not miraculously, but I wouldn't expect that. Wait a second. We'll put it on 2D, I think. 2D, 2D classic today. Oh, where are we? I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Good old 2D classic. No, we want normal 2D. Then you can see the little um, arrows where they're pointing. It's more exciting. West Ham 1-0 up. Perhaps we don't have to worry about them as much unless they uh, turn it around miraculously. It's more Sunderland to worry about at the moment, or any teams just below us. We have done okay recently, but other teams have as well, which is why it's so tight at the bottom. And there's not, I mean, Oldham and West Ham both on 33 currently, but it's not drastically terrible. No team has completely failed miserably. Will Hughes, here they go. Oh, they've scored already. Dallas with the strike. Ah, not a good start. 11 minutes in, they have dominated by the looks of it, by the uh, stats up here. Newcastle really are running away with it, though. Although Derby have the possibility of catching them up. But Newcastle do look like they're going to run away. We're down to 20th, now we've conceded. 
Paul Green, throw in. Come on, Keane. Pull some magic out of the bag. Newton. Vigitinovic. Oh, no, what was that? Oh, it's blocked, but he's managed to get it back. Masinda. Newton. McCabe. Bennett. Back to McCabe. Into Newton. Through to Bennett. Blocked. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to be it. Oh, no, Vigitinovic missed the ball. And now they're on the counter. Tackle him green. Here goes Hughes. Still playing in the championship in the third season. Surprised he hasn't moved to a big team. I think he was better on FM14 than FM15. But that's only going by what I've seen so far. Oh, I feel dizzy all of a sudden. What's going on? It's a corner. And Anik catches. Pump it quick. Number 11. That's it, but too late. Bennett. Loses. Oh, Newton, good tackle. In comes Keane. Lovely ball through to Bennett, who can't finish. Oh, he's useless at finishing, really. I mean, he scored a lot of goals in the in League One, I think, but he's not got a finish on him. That was a good chance. And lucky boys. I think we'll just keep it the same, though, because whenever I do go a bit attacking, we then concede another goal. So I'm going to stick with counter. We might be able to grab... A draw, we'll see. Perhaps I should bring Bennett off. Put Masunda on the right. Can he play on the right? Yeah, he can play on the right. I could bring on Majewski. Or I'll bring on Cluft on the left wing. And then... So, left wing. And I'll play Masunda as an advanced playmaker, I think. Yeah, an advanced playmaker. There we go. See what he does. The youngster, the young Belgian on loan from Chelsea. He looks a good player. I'm not sure if really loaning him out to me has helped his development as much as they'd hope. That was gone to the 70th minute with nothing. Newton heads it away. Masinda, come on, run. Into Keane. Do, 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 do. Lovely ball. Newton. Ugh, tackled. Damn. That was our chance. Oh, great tackle by Songo. Into Keane. It's just lagging for some reason. Masunda. Keen. Cluffed. Tackled. Oh. Ah. Cabral. We're still on the ball. We've still got our phase of play here. McCabe. Into Keen. And he scores. Ah, oh, what a finish. Oh, my computer's just going haywire for some reason. The process is going. Uh, it's because I was uploading a video. And for some reason, it still thinks I'm uploading a video when I'm not. Here's the goal anyway. Keane, lovely header to control it. And then he just powered it in with his left foot. Brilliant finish from the lad. Good stuff. One all against Derby. Let's make a, another sub. Hello, Skype people. <laughs> Fellow YouTuber. You may know him. Oh, no. What, what's going on? Uh, McCabe. We'll bring McCabe off. On comes Pringle. And we shall bring off someone else. Probably Cabral, because he's on a yellow. We'll bring on Barr. Hasn't really... He's been a substitute mainly for me. Let's do this. Let's hold on. Possibly get a winner. Maybe that's been a bit too ambitious. They have had more shots than us. We've both had one clear, clutch, clear, clear cut chance. That's hard to say. Possession-wise, they've had more. As you'd expect, but here they go. Probably fight about straight away. Sacco, brilliant save by Anik. And another chance. Great defending. Get rid of it, Cluft. Well done. Into Keane. Cluft looks very average. You probably think, oh, why is he signing this guy? He looks very average. But I needed another player. And he's done okay. Nothing spectacular. But he's a player to come off the bench on that left hand side for me. Here goes Keane into Masunda. Nice play this. Bar. Into Pringle. Cluft. Oh, into Keane. Oh, what a finish. That is that onside? Yes. What a finish. And Cluft with the assist. It was wonderful. I don't want to go too over the top because he did look slightly offside maybe or borderline as the commentary suggested. But this was Cluft. Oh, he was definitely onside by quite a long way. What a finish with his left foot again. He is right-footed, isn't he? 
I've just had had a thought that maybe yeah he is right footed of course he is there we go Masunda Pringle for Dijanovic this is incredible two videos in a row we've done really well for like the first time in the series well maybe I, I did well in League 1 of course but wow we're going to go defensive now because we need to hold on waste time bomb bomb there we go yeah what a wonderful game what a wonderful second half anyway I mean when was the first goal we scored three goals in the space of 17 minutes we're on fire and we're all the way up to 17th but we have to be watch out they've got a goal back Hellenius oh he's offside praise the Lord up to zero goal difference as well it just shows how we haven't really been destroyed by many teams this season Whereas Sheffield United up in ninth place have minus 17 goal difference. We beat them 5-0, so they must have had some really poor games, but they've picked up the points required to be in ninth currently. Whew. We're still only three points above the relegation zone, though. It looks like Sunderland are winning. But that's not to worry, because everyone else is it's very tight, and that does us a favour, really, because it means there's lots of teams down there. It's not just me battling against two others. It's there's a group of us that could possibly be sucked in hopefully this will just motivate us now to to push on for the rest of the season because beating second place derby after being one nil down that is just fantastic i'm proud of that my tactics worked well i didn't have to really change that to get back into it i just left it as it was and it worked sometimes i do change things a bit too much i know it's about adapting on the recent editions of football manager but sometimes just leaving it having trust in your tactic can work and it has done for me today. Brilliant. So West Ham won, Sunderland won. Let's have a quick look at the fixtures actually. So Sunderland won 4 1. Big win for them. West Ham beat Brighton. Really is close because, I mean, if we win the next game, we could possibly get up to 11th if results go our way. Who have we got next? Bristol City. So we lost against them in one of our videos. The, the, la the next video will be the last day of the season, I can tell you that. So it's going to be against Stoke. Hopefully we'll have survived by then. So wish me luck. And please leave a like as usual. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. That would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good couple of videos beating West Ham and then Derby. So excellent. Hope that's cheered up your day if you're having a bit of a boring day. And yeah, see you soon.